All right, what's going on, Dolphins fans? Jacob here, Miami Dolphins Syndicate. Got some breaking news for you guys. The Miami Dolphins have signed edge rusher Justin Houston uh, for the playoff run coming up here. Signed the 34-year-old uh, edge rusher. Uh, was previously with the Carolina Panthers earlier this year. Only recorded half of a sack. Uh, and he joins Melvin Ingram and Emmanuel Ogba as the only three edge rushers on this team. So one of which in Melvin Ingram was on the team earlier this season was signed to the practice squad. Manuel Ogba, an edge rusher that at one point was a healthy scratch, and now a 34-year-old edge rusher uh, to be the three that are going to be on the outside trying to get to Patrick Mahomes this upcoming weekend. Uh, conveniently, or ironically enough, all three of which have previously played for the Kansas City Chiefs at some point in their career. Uh, I think the, the revenge game narrative is really overplayed at this point. People just say that at any point when you play. Uh, when a guy plays one of his former teams, uh, but you now have Tyreek Hill, Mayo Ogba, uh, Melvin Ingram, and now Justin Houston that are all going to be coming back to Kansas City to play the Kansas City Chiefs uh, in a, obviously you know, the most meaningful playoff game of the season so far for both teams, win or go home for both teams. Uh, Justin Houston is, is clearly far off what he once was. He's far off from his time with the Kansas City Chiefs where he had a 22-sack season. Last year, he had nine and a half sacks uh, with the Baltimore Ravens, and then the time earlier this year uh, with the Kansas or sorry with the Carolina Panthers wasn't really effective. Uh, there, there, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of gas left in the tank for the man that has 112 sacks in his career, uh, has had an incredible career. And if you're getting Justin Houston when he was you know 25, 26 years old, you know this would be a, a massive signing to this Dolphins team. But this is a guy that is just going to come in, is going to be asked to be second in line behind both uh, of Melvin Ingram. Uh, and Emmanuel Ogba. I, I wouldn't be completely surprised if the Miami Dolphins go out and, and sign another edge rusher, but it doesn't look likely. It kind of looks like this is a squad we're going to run with uh, in, in having this last addition. You know, we had Jason Pierre-Paul in the building previously, uh, and he just quite simply wasn't getting it done. So he was somebody that I thought maybe the Dolphins would be interested in bringing back, and that could still be a possibility and have those four guys because, you know, you need more than just three. But at, at least at the very least for now, uh, it's going to be Melvin Ingram, Emmanuel Ogba, uh, and then now Justin Houston. We'll see what his snap usage looks like on on Saturday night against the Chiefs. Again, I don't expect him to have too big of an impact, but you just need warm living bodies there uh, at the at the edge position. There's a chance that we see some guys on the defensive line that play up more on the interior even get some work outside. Uh, there was there was a question I asked, I, I believe, earlier today or or yesterday about Christian Wilkins potentially playing edge, and he is probably the more agile of our interior de defense alignment and, and while there wasn't a definitive answer uh, but reportedly Vangio gave a little smirk uh, in, in response to that so that's something that we could potentially see as you know being without Andrew Van Ginkle now as well as previously losing <coughs> excuse me Bradley Chubb and Jalen Phillips uh, is is losses that you can't replace on this Miami Dolphins defensive line is this signing going to make the difference as to whether we beat the Kansas City Chiefs or not Absolutely not. This is not the deal breaker that's going to put the nail in the coffin to end the Chiefs season. He moves on to Baltimore, most likely Baltimore, in the second round of the playoffs. I, I still don't feel very confident going into Kansas City with or without Justin Houston. Uh, it doesn't move the needle. It's not going to move the betting line one way or another. Uh, we're still going to be pretty decent underdogs. Not heavy underdogs, but decent underdogs going into Kansas City. Uh, and it's going to be a tall task to go in there, uh, especially after losing Jerome Baker uh, Andrew Van Ginkle, Cameron Good all went down for the season. That was the in, that was the video I was initially going to come out with was just breaking down those injuries. Uh, Andrew Van Ginkle, uh, obviously he hurt his foot in the game uh, on Sunday. And then late in the fourth quarter, Jerome Baker hurt his wrist. And I'm surprised he stayed in the game in general. Like he looked like he was in a lot of pain, especially from my vantage point in the, in, in the stadium where I can see. Like he looked like he was in a lot of pain. He was calling to be taken out and just wasn't able to. Uh, so I'm surprised he was able to play as much after that injury as he did. And then Cameron Good. Obviously, he goes down right at that spot, and that just opens up a hole for Hardy to run for a touchdown on that punt return. So three massive injuries, two of which massive injuries in terms of just you know available players, starting players on this defense, and then for that in that moment, Cameron Good going down lets that big touchdown run. Uh, but we knew the Dolphins needed to go out and get somebody. There was multiple names there out on the street, and Justin Houston is the one the Miami Dolphins elect to go with. It's not going to make a massive difference. He's not going to be getting probably more than 35% of the snap percentage. It's going to be a lot of Melvin Ingram and Emmanuel Log, but it's going to be a real cardio test for those two because they're going to be on the field a lot. Fortunately, from the edge position, you don't have to really scheme too much for that. 
a lot of the time you are just going to be rushing the quarterback. And you could see him drop back into coverage that we know uh, they like to do with Jalen Phillips. Excuse me. And uh, Andrew Van Ginkle and uh, and with uh, with Bradley Chubb. But when you see when you see Justin Houston in there, their likelihood is he is just going to be rushing the quarterback uh, and not dropping back into coverage too much. But he's an experienced mind, and I'm sure that he can pick up on things quite easily, uh, even though, yeah, again, he's at this older point in his career where he definitely has lost a step uh, and is not going to be giving you, you know, if he, if he, if he got a sack, that'd be, that'd be great. That'd be enough because that's more than what he did in seven games this year with the Carolina Panthers. So that's, you know, it's, it's something, it's, it's, it's something in the right direction. You know, you hate to lose Andrew Van Ginkle, but you try to find the best replacement possible. And, and of course, my Dolphins, Justin Houston was that signing. Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, what do you think of this signing? Can you rate, give it a rating of one to 10? Me personally, it's, it's nothing more than like a five and a half or a six. This is not game changing. This is not going to be the signing that helps the Dolphins win this game. It's not going to be the difference between winning and losing this game on Saturday. Uh, so I'm not overly excited about this at all. I don't really think this is a massive deal. But, you know, any Miami Dolphins news, any noteworthy news, we are going to present to you guys and give you our honest opinion. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. While down there, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that like button. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Take care, everybody.